Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. You can tell when a country has an independent uh, foreign policy or is independent and uh, do whatever uh, it wants. And how do you know that? It gets out of line with the script from the big boss. The big boss being the United States and its club being the club where you have uh, jackals, you know, you have hyenas, you have bottom feeders, and uh, you know, you have all these people who are uh, uh, vassal states to the big boss. So, uh, when you hear India, when you hear uh, China, when you hear Iran, when you hear Russia, when you hear North Korea, and um, that's about it. <laughs> the rest, they don't dare to make a little squeak because they're afraid they will uh, have a little revolution in about two weeks time from that statement. So let's see what's going on here. China, obviously, free independent country. You like it or not, it doesn't matter. It has balls, it has, and is very smart, very keen. And I like that. I like intelligence. Well, you know, sometimes intelligence is used in good, uh, to do good stuff and bad stuff. In this, in this uh, context, I think China just uh, has balls and intelligence. What is it doing? China slams US stationing in Syria oil and grain looting as illegal. What I've been yapping around here for the past, I don't know, three, four, five months. And why three, four, five months? Because when I heard these guys saying, those guys being United States and its weasel countries, uh, oh, the Ukraine sovereignty is sacred. It was violated by Russia. Oh my, it's independent. Ukraine is independent and a sovereign nation and so on. Yes, it's true. That's totally true. But so is Syria. No? Okay, all right. So if it's Syria, the same uh, sovereign independent country, why do you fucking have troops over there? Well, because you take the oil and you want to make sure that you create some little problems over there for the guys around, which are the Turks, right? Which are the uh, Syrians, which are the uh, Kurds, which are the Iraqis, which are the Russians, Iranians, and hop, hop, you're in too. All right, welcome to the party. This article comes from Al Mayedin and is from today, the 2nd of December 2022. The Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman slams US hypocrisy, accusing it of continuously violating international laws and rules while claiming that it advocates the rules based international order. Wow! Now that is straight in your mouth. Now, not a, not a slap, not a elbow, straight, boom, in your nose. If you want to knock him out, aim here. All right, so what's going on? This guy tells the truth? Isn't that a fact? All right, let's see what he says. Maybe he's just a liar. Pants on fire. The Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Zhao Liang, Liang opened fire on the US's illegal presence in Syria, which, which is an illegal presence in Syria. Shredding light, shedding light on the continuous U.S. looting of Syrian oil and grain and slamming the U.S. Occupation, occupation's missile attacks on the country. All these are accurate. U.S. attacks whomever they want over there with drones or with um, military personnel. They have about 900 uh, 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 warriors over there that are in the northeast part of Syria and they are taking care of the Syrian oil to be dragged down in little tankers to Iraq and then to me. In a press conference on December 2nd, 2022, addressing worldwide media outlet, Li Jiang said, the US's stationing the troops in Syria is illegal. That's a fact. The US's smuggling of oil and grain from Syria is illegal. That's a fact. The US's missile attack against Syria is also illegal. Does it have a mandate? No, then it's a fact. Now you tell me, what should I do with all this? Then when this guy, US, cries, hey, you violate that, oh, no, you do, that's illegal, huh? What should I uh, say about it? Shut the fuck up, look at you first, or straighten your, your things, your act, and then you can come and tell the rest. No, they come and you are supposed to call them great. You're not supposed to notice this, let alone say anything about it. Answering a question by the Chinese Shenzhen TV, whereby 
they asked the spokesman to comment on the fact that on the morning of December 1st, the US forces sent 54 oil laden, laden tankers from northeastern Syria to its bases in northern Iraq, the last shipment of stolen Syrian oil to be delivered. End quote. Lijian said he noted the relevant uh, reports slamming the US occupation forces for leaving the Syrian people struggling to survive an anticipated harsh winter as they continued to loot their oil and grain. The Chinese diplomat also highlighted the financial losses of the continuous US looting and smuggling of Syrian oil, saying, according, and I'm quoting, according to the official data from the Syrian government between 2011 and the first half of 2022, the US's smuggling activities have cost Syria more than 100 b -b 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 billion dollars of losses, end quote. According to Lian, the US keeps violating international laws the rules and rules contrary to its claims that it advocates what it calls the rules-based international order." End quote. And I'm quoting again. When the US talks about rules, it is often just trying to find a pretext for serving its own interest and perpetrating its hegemony. Perpetuating. History is not perpetrating. Perpetu perpetuating. Uh, continuing its hegemony, he stressed. The Chinese foreign ministry spokesman quoted former French ambassador to the US, Gerard Araud, 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 as saying that, and I'm quoting, when the Americans basically want to do whatever they want, including what it's against international law, as they define it, they do it. And that's the version, that's the vision that the rest of the world has or of this order. Any questions? No. Okay. So this guy says when Americans want to do something, they do it. You know, and that's the, the way it is. I do whatever I want. You guys do what I tell you. That's the rule based order. And I'm quoting, we believe the international community, here we go again, is not blind. No, it's not to, to this and will treat it with vigilance. Lian said in a ho hopeful tone that some action might be done regarding the US aggression on Syria. Well, what do you think? Hmm? What do you think about it? I mean, you might not like who says it, you know, you might not like, you know, because, you know, it's true. The point is, okay, that's what's been done. What can we do? Well, at this point, have to recognize it and open our mouth and say it, repeat it. Do you think the United States will care? Uh, no, they will not care. But if there's plenty of these guys to uh, become louder and louder, they might, like people, like weak people that we are, get together in organizations, you know, as countries at the United Nations and vote democratically, right? And maybe something changes. <laughs> yeah, uh, sure. So anyway, the, the other option is another poll created, another, you know, uh, center of power. Because if this guy is, uh, by its uh, actions, a, I don't know, a country that doesn't really care about the so-called uh, international law that they define it as international law, then what should you do? Go to someone else. Well, do you have an option? No. But now the option is in creation. And that is Russia, you might not like Russia. Is China, you might not like China. Is India, is uh, you know South uh, uh, South Africa, is Brazil. Oh, these are all ugly countries. Well, you know, you can call them however you want, but the point is, what do you have instead? I mean, you definitely in this relationship with this dude, you will have to be a vassal state. Do whatever they say and close your eyes. To whatever they do and mouth. On the other, on the other, hand, the other hand, maybe they treat you better. But you say, well, look, maybe they don't have. Uh, you know, if you look at their record, they're bad dudes. Well, I don't think they can compete with these guys, though, in uh, bad deeds. If you know what I mean. 
and just a uh, reminder if you want i think nothing compares with uh, i don't know dropping two atomic bombs on uh, two civilian cities i don't think that's a kosher okay that's the first one on civilians that's a war crime right there all right and then we can go further okay we can go to uh, uh, war in korea well you can say well that was uh, everybody oh okay that was everybody but then vietnam was everybody there too? Well, the Soviet Union was over there. <laughs> yeah, well, the Soviet Union, but how did the United States get involved? Again, to defend the right, through a lie, the Gulf of Tonkin. All right, and then what do you have? You have every little intervention by the CIA in the South America. And not only, oh, you got 54 intervention in, uh, or 56, in, uh, in Iran, you know, toppling the Mozandeh, or whatever his name was, the prime minister of Iran, and then, the Shah landed, and then in 79, the other guy showed up. From where? The other guy being uh, Khomeini, Ayatollah Khomeini. Where did he come from? Uh, Paris. What was he doing in Paris? You know, and you have on and on. And then Mujahideens, right, in, uh, in Afghanistan, and then you got Al-Qaeda, and then you got ISIS, and then you got what? Iraq, and then you got uh, Yugoslavia, and then you got Libya, and then you got Afghanistan, and uh, uh, if I'm missing anyone, I'm sorry, okay? Because there's too many. Uh, you, can, uh, you can get little things like get Somalia, you can, many other in between. Continuous war. So uh, you can take, if you want, Russia and say Russia are the bad dudes. And if you can fit anything else here besides the fighting in Vietnam and the stupidity in Afghanistan, then yes, okay. But compare with the other record and you tell me. I mean, I just enumerated about... 10 on one side and I can enumerate two or three on the other side. I'm not saying they're saints whatsoever, but if it's about record, let's straight, set the record straight, right? Anyway, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.